Forty scientists and 70 volunteers gathered May 31, 2013 to conduct a bio blitz on the grounds of White Memorial located in the northwest corner of Connecticut. A bio blitz is an educational opportunity for people to come and visit a special place and to perform an inventory. We invite scientists and volunteers to participate and at the very end, we tally up all the species that we count in a 24-hour period. A pop-up museum was created in which flora, fauna, discovered during the Blitz are displayed. Students from Momogo Regional High School created this temporary museum, assigning a table to each of the taxonomic groups explored during the BioBlitz. What we're going to start doing is we're going to start looking for flying squirrels. And the best way to do Two years ago, James Fisher, White Memorial's director of research, decided a bio blitz would be the perfect way to celebrate White Memorial's 100th anniversary. The 24-hour blitz explored approximately three square miles. James recruited volunteers from the community, and the group started planning. Volunteers gathered as the bio blitz drew near for a briefing and review of logistics. I want you to really feel as if you're making a connection with biological diversity, but we're also creating a good community of yourselves. Scientists leading the charge of enthusiastic volunteers got down to work. Do we have any vascular plant people? She was going to work with Rob. Right. Anyone that's interested in doing something like this, we can try and get together, and Jessica's one of them. So this is a brown bull head, and one of the distinguishing characteristics is the uh, black barbels on the underneath of the chin. Is it a damsel fly nymph? Take this. Wow. That's very cool. And all of a sudden, Justin called up and he said, raccoon, and right over our heads was this sleeping raccoon that didn't even raise its head. It was just marvelous. Good. I've uh, learned some new species of water plants I previously had assumed a lot of this stuff was just milfoil and seeing there are a lot of different varieties that I was not aware of. Honestly, I don't think there's a word in the American language that can just encompass everything that I've experienced in the past, not even 24 hours. I think it's important to have um, a society of, of scientifically literate adults to take care of the planet. We can't just set a handful of scientists out to take care of the planet for us. It's ours. We own it. We all need to do this, do our share. The more we know, the better informed we are, the better we can take care of the place where we live. As citizens, we have a right and responsibility to know our role in the, in the environment. By being knowledgeable, we have the ability to make decisions, better decisions. We understand the implications of those decisions, and we understand our role even more. Learning about the diversity of life expands our understanding of how interconnected everything is. The more we understand about this web of life on which we all depend, the healthier our decisions and actions will be. Why is biodiversity important? I don't think we've ever seen anything good come from a monoculture. The, the more diverse we are, the healthier the ecosystem is, the healthier the planet is, clean air, clean water, good soil, biodiversity is key. How do you express success after an event such as White Memorial's 100th anniversary community powered bio blitz? That's it, 931 species. Earth, my home, is a spinning top. We'd all fall off if it ever stopped. Our hearts are firmly planted here. Gravity holds us near. The earth, my home, is an ancient place for billions of years. It's circled in space, white and blue and green and round, humming with living sounds. It's the perfect planet to hang your hat, the perfect balance of habitats, a delicate, dazzling, heavenly sphere. Here. The 
earth my home is a living soul abundant with rabbits and crickets and crows redwoods and seaweeds amoebas and frogs lizards and prairie dogs it's the perfect place 